organization that, that has been around for 400 years that has a lot of rituals, a lot of processes, uh, the way they do business. And one of the one of the things you hear about a lot is sit downs. So can you walk us through what exactly is a sit down and give us an example or two stories of some sit downs that you were in and you win or lose a sit down? Yes. Um, so, so obviously a sit down would be when is just like anything else, like a disagreement in some, in some, of some sort. Right. And usually, um, it, it, it would go like this. It, it could start out between a debate or argument, um, between civilians and I mean, just regular people and, and it doesn't get, uh, rectified. And what happens? Somebody goes to somebody. So they go to a cousin or a friend or a friend of a friend, and then we get involved, but there would be a counterpart to us because now somebody else is, you know, maybe, maybe another friend's going to get involved. It could be, yeah. could be from your own, uh, Bagada could be from your own family, could be from another family. And if we sit down with each other um, and we don't rectify it, it gets kicked up. And now your, your capital regime or skipper will, 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 will get involved with, with theirs. And then if that doesn't get rectified, it yeah. will go up and up. It could go to two bosses sitting down. Yes, it, 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 it can keep going. Um, I was involved in one that I, that was before my time hap, was like a five or six year sit down that was going uh -huh. on and I got involved, but it's, that's too long of a story. But the, the, the funnier ones, um, there was, um, there, I will tell you who it was. Um, it was uh, little Joey de Benedetto who, who okay. is, of, uh, of, Vicka Musso's uh, son-in-law had a cousin who had a pizzeria and um, and he was part he, he was partners with his cousin but before before they partnered their fathers had made this business together and it was a strange agreement um, they they made an agreement that if one of the partners was to pass away everything goes to the other partner which okay. is kind of strange you know today we wouldn't do that right we would yeah. make sure that our families were taken care of yeah. but anyway this was their agreement so when when i find out about this the other cousin has passed away and now joey's it was actually joey's cousin's husband but so let's just say joey's cousin is having a a, a problem because the wife of the of the uh, the cousin who passed away and her brother went to a banana, right? Okay. And he went in there and was going to throw his weight around. And obviously, the kid must have said the right thing. He must have said, "We got to go. I'm going to go talk to my friend." Who's and it was Joey. And we get involved in this 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 whole thing. And we go to the pizzeria. And we take, um, it was myself, Joey, Anthony Guzzo, and we take another guy with us. And, you know, we don't, we don't know who we're meeting, what, we just yeah. know a little bit about where they're coming from, right? And, and we get to the pizzeria, and his, I'll just for uh, argument's sake, call him Joey's cousin. Joey's cousin is there, and, and he starts explaining who this guy is, and they call him Little Anthony, which is Anthony Capernegro, sure. uh, right? And he's a friend with the Bananos. And <laughs> so we, we, we're, we're going over this whole thing, and jo Joey turns to me and says, hey, listen, you, I want you to do the talking, yeah. right? Which he always did to me. And, and this is Nick Amuzo's son-in-law, right? Yes, yes. He said, I want you to do the talk. Now, we, uh, Anthony and myself, are like brand new. Um, yeah. You know, maybe I, I, it may even be weeks or a month that we are inducted. And um, actually, it was my f very first sit down. Interesting. And, and so, but what I gathered right away was that. The problem was they didn't want to know nothing about this agreement. They wanted the wife to now be a partner in this business, right? 
And I sat down with the cousin and I says, let me ask you a question. Do you have, do you have to pay um, like your vendors and, you know, do you owe any money out? What's the debt in, in the business? And he said, I believe it was, you get the, yeah, it was um, 250000 that they owed out. Yeah. You know, and they, they owed, the business owed out, right? So I said, do you have that paperwork? And he said, yeah, yeah. I said, sorry, I want you to bring that paperwork to the table when we, when we sit here. And in comes, right then, it, we called them later the Oompa Loompas because they were these two <laughs> little short, short little guys. And one was the guy I mentioned earlier with, with, with Pete and Zarella was, was with him. Yeah. And the other was this Anthony, uh, they call me Anthony Cap. And, 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 they had, and the third guy with them was the wife's um, brother, you know, of the, of the deceased. And so right away, here's the problem. When, when we do not know each other, how do we, we just can't go introduce, introduce ourselves. Correct. You no, know, because we need a third person who knows us and who is also in that life or a friend or a cap regime, whatever he is. We need somebody to introduce us. And we don't know who we're dealing with and they don't know who, who they're dealing with. Correct. And what happened was there was a lawyer, uh, little Joey's last name is DeBetadetto. There's a lawyer named Joey DeBetadetto. So this Anthony did his homework incorrectly right, and oh, said oh joey de better dental the lawyer is going to be coming here to speak and i'm going to abuse him he even said it later on if he was a lawyer i was going to abuse him and chase him you know tell him to leave so he instead of seeing us and looking and saying this guy these guys are no lawyers <laughs> he goes over to little joey and says to him are you joey de better dental the lawyer so joey says no i'm joey de better dental the tough guy <laughs> and I write, Joey is a, is a very, very tough guy. And we'll yeah. pick up his hands in a second. Yeah. And I say, well, here we go. You know, and um, <laughs> so the guy turns around and smiles. And says, oh.